But President Akufuado uh, uh, and his ministers are sitting on the edge as rumors of an imminent reshuffle heightens. There are already suggestions that some ministers will be sacked outright. In the studio with me is head of our political desk, Evans Mensa. Evans, it's good to have you here. Good to be on your show, Gifty. Yes, I know. It's always good to be on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Evans, take us through the list. What, 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 what do we have on the table? What are we hearing? So, no particular name is confirmed yet. Very well. The only thing we, we, we know is confirmed for sure that the reshuffle is imminent. Mm -hmm. as, as to when exactly that will be done, we haven't been told. But we've been told to expect that. And obviously because um, what sources tell us, on the wake of the sacking of the energy minister, there's a vacancy that has to be filled. Mm -hmm. The uh, Lantern Natural Resources Minister currently is acting in two positions. And so the replacement for the energy minister will happen, but within will happen within the broader reshuffle. So you will see the replacement done within the reshuffle. Having said that, though, in the last uh, few months, there have been a lot of clamor about various ministers, either they're performing well or they haven't. And there have actually been rumors of reshuffle that, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. In fact, we know that uh, we broke that story sometime last year, mm -hmm. that the president did an assessment of the ministers. They, they sat them down. They, they did a review. The ministers themselves told us so. Uh, each minister went before the president and was assessed based on their performance. Uh, we were expecting that would have formed the basis for the reshuffle, mm -hmm. and that will still form a basis for a reshuffle uh, later, this, later this week or, or early next week. Having said that, you would notice that there are a few individuals that there's a lot of speculation already about them. Mm -hmm. And number one on the list has been the sanitation minister, Mr. Joseph Ada. Okay. There's been a lot of people who have suggested that they haven't seen anything as far as his ministry is concerned because sanitation is one of the things that if it's happening, you will see. Hmm. Um, and they haven't seen anything yet. Especially when the president has said that uh, he, he wanted wants to, to make, make a cry, a cry a cleaner a cleaner city, city in, in Africa. Africa. And many people expect him to be a major casualty in the reshuffle, that he would, right. he would, be, he would be moved away from the ministry. Okay. Um, we've also heard that um, one of the other person that may not be moved out of government completely, but may be reshuffled elsewhere, is the information minister, Mustafa Hamid. Um, we don't know where else he may be moved to, but it's come up quite strongly that he may be moved elsewhere. Um, we have Matthew Pukupempe, who, from my sources, mm -hmm. will, will most likely stay at the Education Ministry, um, obviously because of the free SHS and all the moving parts that the ministry is dealing with currently, it wouldn't be wise and sound to move in. Mm -hmm. Now, one other person who's had a lot of questions about his tenure has been the, the health minister. Now, remember when uh, he was appointed, Ms. Hukwajimamun was appointed. Mm -hmm. The president laid out one of the key reasons why he appointed him because of his finance and accounting background. He thought the key challenge facing the health sector is finance, mm -hmm. particularly the National Health Insurance Scheme. And he was supposed to bring his expertise to bear in trying to fix that, that problem. The question is, has he done so in mm -hmm. the last one and a half or so years? We don't know. The jury still out. I don't know what the president found in that one on one assessment. But we expect that he's a likely, be a likely casualty as well. Whether he'll be moved elsewhere or completely out of government, we can't tell. Okay. You remember the controversy that surrounded the Hawa Kumsin um, when her ministry presented a budget to parliament and there were a huge problem with the budget. Eventually, admissions were made and changes had to be made. One of the key ones had to do with some amount of money they were going to spend mm -hmm. to construct a, a new website, some three, some 800,000, mm -hmm. <laughs> almost a million, mm -hmm. that was going to be spent to, uh, to fix a website. That became an issue. Now, uh, that hasn't gone now well with a lot of people in the, in the government circles. And maybe, and, and remember, the ministry is so key because it's handling the special initiative. The special initiative, you the know, one district, one factory, one absolutely. village, one down. And you want a stronger person. Remember that all this, this is being done. And, and, and everyone, sorry to, to interrupt you, but we haven't quite heard of him, or uh, heard of her when it comes to the free SHS policy. Does it not, uh, is it not involved in government? Uh, well, that, that, that has been the issue that most people have pointed to. This is an important 
important. I mean, she her ministry was supposed to be in charge of all the special initiatives, the kind of things that the president talked about in the manifesto that needs to be fulfilled before the 2020 mm. elections. Soon we'll have two years to go to the elections. The president is thinking, if I don't get these key policies mm -hmm. out of the way and reflected in people's lives, you are losing it. And so change is inevitable and must happen now than later. Um, the one district, one factory is still struggling. Um, of course, the one, 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 one village, one dam. All these issues need to be dealt with, and that is why Howard Coombs' position, I guess, mm. is one of those. So this is the minister uh, we're talking about right there those, on your screen, a Minister for Special Development Initiative. One of those ministries that, uh, in terms of her portfolio, isn't safe with the reshuffle that okay. we know is imminent. Okay. Uh, Isaac Isiama is an interesting name. Why? Remember that Kukubako Jr. had revealed that there appears to be friction between himself and his deputies, and that he was the one who, in documents that Kukubako had produced, showed, who reported and sort of handed over his deputy to the president, although the, although the evidence, even when he did his own preliminary checks, didn't back up that he's done anything wrong. Mm. And, and it turns out that, of course, the president's investigation exonerated him. Mm. And Kuku was asking the question whether they can work together because of the documentation of how the substantive minister seemed to have undermined his deputy. And this has played out in the public domain quite strongly. And clearly, they have, they have, they, they, they have, there's a strong view that he would not, he would not survive at the, at the uh, sports ministry. And we don't know how that pans out, where okay. he may move to. Okay. Uh, all these names I've mentioned, either you, sh you are moved elsewhere in government, or you, or you moved or you out completely. Completely out of government. Okay. We've got one, some of those, more. one of those looks likely that might, might, be, might belong to the latter category is the sports minister. The sports minister. Well, we, we have some more names, sir, Evans, here. Yeah, I Let's mean, of course. You mean Otiku Jabauzi, Children and Women's and Social Protection, Social Protection Minister, had a few, I guess, uh, public issues in terms of um, PR, public perspective. Um, some of the things that he had said in the past had generated a lot of controversy. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, from what we hear, the president likes her. I mean, that's an individual because yeah. of her background in moving from the party okay. into government. Whether she's maintained or not, I don't know. But it looks like um, she possibly be moved elsewhere or totally out of government. Now, the fisheries ministry mm -hmm. uh, is an interesting one. And remember that in the last few days, I think last 48 hours, government had now come out to say the close is in will not be implemented right. after all. After the whole baloo and yeah. controversy, she's backtracked. Why? Was there an eventual executive pressure to say, this isn't right now, leave it, let's return to it next year, although she really wanted to do it? Does that suggest that there might be some friction? Mm -hmm. We don't know. But it's be interesting to see how she holds up a, in once, the, once the reshuffle is announced. And of course, okay. as Lawus, who is the communications minister, um, Imani Ghana has been on the campaign as far as the Kelna GBG is concerned. Yeah. Will she survive that or is something more there to probe? Well, the reshuffle will tell us. The reshuffle will tell us. Evans, uh, is there a timeline within which we should expect this Well, the, the strongest indication that we've been giving is that this week. Um, I don't know when this week might happen. Okay. It might even delay. Okay. Uh, but I guess it's imminent. It's a fair it's thing to say, yeah. All right, Evans, thank you so much. Evans Mensa is head of our political desk here. So the names that he's just gone through, Joseph Kofi Ada, Minister for Sanitation, Mustafa Hamid, uh, Information, Matthew Pukuprempe, Education, Kukwa Jumaimenu, Health, Hawa Kumsin, Special Development, Isaac Esiama, Sport, Otiko Jaba, Children and Social Protection, Children, Women and Social Protection, Afolekwe Fisheries, Eslawusu Communication, what to expect that... Um, uh, that reshuffle. Thanks for watching the polls with me, Gifty and Dr.